Hello everyone. This is an animated video on living organisms and their surroundings. This video will help you to revise your concept in very quick time. I recommend you to watch this video taking your pen and notebook to prepare your own notes. Please check the link in the description box to find out the chapter notes. Introduction. A chameleon is in grass gardens. Can you see it? Yes. It is under the leaves. A chameleon changes its color according to its surroundings to escape its predators. It is quite essential that they adapt to their surroundings to survive. These adaptations allow animals and plants to survive and grow in particular habitat. In this lesson, we are going to learn as to how different plants and animals adapt according to their habitats. We all know that every organism requires some place where its basic necessities like food, water and shelter should be met. This place of living where plant and animal live and grow is known as habitat. All living organisms should adapt themselves to their habitat to thrive and survive in the surroundings. Habitat is divided into two classes. One terrestrial or land habitat, 2. aquatic or water habitat. Habitat of living organisms found on land is terrestrial habitat. Desert, mountains, forest, grasslands are the examples of this category. Whereas habitat of living organisms found in water is aquatic habitat. Sea, ponds, oceans and lakes are the examples of this category. Animals like porcupine, yak, seal and zebra have different type of physical features to survive and live in the surroundings. Porcupine has needle shaped quills, yak has thick fur, zebra has stripped skin which can be easily mistaken as bushes. These specific features are known as adaptations. An adaptation is a variation or modification in animal or plant body to survive and live in its environment. Students, did you know that Sahara Desert is the largest desert in the world? It is located in Africa. Deserts have a unique characteristic of being dry. They are hot and dry due to high rate of evaporation and limited rainfall. Plants and animals living in deserts have modified features to survive in such extreme conditions. Camel has many adaptations that are specifically suited to desert habitat. Camel has long eyelashes and nostrils that close to protect against blowing sand. A large hump on its back stores fat, which is metabolized during lengthy period. They can drink up to 46 liters of water in one time and can live without water for a week. Wide and flat feet prevents the camel from sinking into the sand. Similarly, plants like cacti also show various adaptations to survive in dry and hot environment. The leaves of cacti are modified into spines which reduce water loss due to transpiration. Cactus has thick and fleshy stem to store water. Roots of the desert plants deeply penetrate in the soil to absorb water. Students, did you ever think why trees growing in hilly regions are different from the trees growing in grasslands or forest regions? Plants of hilly areas have specific adaptations to face extreme climatic conditions like cold and strong winds. Plants are small and perennials. Leaves are conical and have thick covering of wax which allows rainwater and snow to slide down. Their branches are oblique and roots are well developed. Animals living in mountain regions also show diverse adaptations to survive and live in cold surroundings. For example, Yak and mountain goats are adapted to live on high mountains. 
animals have thick skin and fur, which keeps the body warm in winter and snowy climates. Aquatic animals have special features and adaptations that help them to survive and live in aquatic habitats. Aquatic animals like fishes have streamlined body that helps to swim easily in water. Fishes have flat tail and flat fins that help them to change direction in water. Fishes respire through gills. Students, you might have seen lotus floating in ponds and lakes. These plants show various adaptations to live in water. Lotus plants have long and hollow stem, which attaches the plant to the base of the pond. Roots are short. Leaves are wide and disc-shaped, thus helps the plant to float on the water surface. Some aquatic plants remain submerged in the water. For example, hydrilla. Students, we all know that frogs are amphibians. They can live both in land and water. So they have specially developed features that allow him to live both on land and water. Frog has long, strong and webbed hind limbs that help in jumping and swimming. Frog undergoes hibernation during winter season. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. An adaptation is a variation or modification in animal or plant body to survive and live in its environment. The places of living where plant and animal live and grow are known as habitat. We have two main types of habitat. Terrestrial habitat and aquatic habitat. Camel has long eyelashes and nostrils, hump to store fat, wide and flat feet to walk on sand. Cactus has spiny leaves, thick and fleshy stem to store water, and long roots deeply penetrated in the soil to absorb water. Mountain plants are small and perennials with conical leaves covered with wax. Branches are oblique and roots are well developed. Animals found in mountains have thick skin and fur. Aquatic animals have streamed lined body, flat tail, and fins and gills for respiration. <laughs>